So I'm hoping after uh, 35 minutes, we're near a save point. Oh my gosh, Miku, open the door. You're worse than your brother. Alright, so this puzzle is like one of the easiest to do. Yep. Then the thing comes up. Uh, don't take a pi you can You can take a picture, but it just shows you how to do the puzzle. Basically, wait a little bit, and you start seeing a person forming here. Basically, here, just go in order. Ta da! That's all it is. It's very easy. Oh no, we're screwed. Run! Oh, it won't open! Oh no, the camera's not working! Yeah, you're supposed to get caught in that little area. I was just being silly. <laughs> uh, there's no way you can fight her. Uh, those are considered one-hit kill ghost. Um, every time the screen goes black and white like that, you run for your life. But in Fatal Flame's case, they don't um, introduce one-hit kill ghosts that much. <laughs> So welcome to the next night, which is at the same point of demon tag. That sounds fun, right? Pretty background though. I know who you are. So night two is one of the longest nights. Cause one, you gotta get that mirror back. Two, you gotta figure out how, where to get this scroll. Three, you gotta figure out what happened to kids. And four, you gotta do something with mask. So there's a lot of things to do in night two. And it's one of the longest nights too. Well, figure out you're gonna be in there. That one's right here. Ladies' diary, June 10. But this one is when you're gonna start figuring out a little bit more about. The folklore's family, the one that um, Junsei was talking about. Makoto really seems to like this mansion. She's playing demon tag. That sounds fun. <laughs> Here with her neighborhood friends again today. I guess the big mansion is a perfect place for kids to play, but for people in my sickly condition, it's a little bit too big. June 15th. Today was a wonderful day. My husband, my daughter, and I took a walk in the mountains. I'm 
feeling pretty good these days, and I was even able to walk quite a distance today. I had so much fun. Yay, walking is fun. Okay, there's a spill up here. Make sure you collect the spilled orbs if you do have a... Ooh, Dolly fell out. I did not notice that. Okay. There's my full use notebook. I must have been- I must have passed out. I'm afraid it's too late to help Mr. Takamine. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> if only I had come in too soon. Nope, they were doomed for the start. <laughs> well, he died on September 15th, apparently, so... <laughs> the spirits in the mansion are very powerful. The force behind this curse must be some- here somewhere. And I'm gonna start looking for it right now! You do that before you! Good for you! It's funny, in his notes he sounds so enthusiastic, but when you see him, he's just like... Stone-faced. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Miku. Open the door. Oh, I missed him. Oh. Okay, so remember when I said said something about um the the teleporting noise? Yeah. Guess who we get the meat? Welcome the blind lady! One! Oh, blinded maiden is actually what her name is called. Alright, so hence her name, she's blind. That means don't move. That's when you want this, and that's when pressure is good. Listen to that, um, that sound. Oh my gosh, blind lady. Yeah, wait for her red reticle and then hit. Listen to that teleporting noise, she's right there. Boom! There you go. So don't move, listen to that teleporting noise. If you're on the Xbox version, this boss is really hard. And that's why I use pressure. She is one of the few ghosts I use pressure on. There's three ghosts I use pressure on and she's one of them. I believe, yep. Let's say there's something over here. Alright, so to say backtracking, follow this walkthrough. Oh, did I did not get her? Jeez, I thought I got her. I love that. I love that clip. Uh, night 2 is also the night you should start using your 37 film for bosses. Oh, like mini bosses, like Blind Maiden. Uh, this, this is to, uh, save time. Go all the way over here. See, now the bridge is fixed. Because the stone mirror is gone. But, I know it hasn't moved. It moved, but, yeah, that's the sacred water. But go all the way over here. This will save you backtracking, trust me. There's a stone, I believe there's a stone mirror behind this thing. I don't know if that's night two or night three. Uh, night two is also the night of do not take your camo out unless you absolutely need to. Trust me. Because there's a big chance that if you do that, ghost will pop out. And if you don't like jump scares, well, first of all, why are you playing this game? Second of all, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Alright. Now that's finished. Oh, I've got you, you pop up. So you're supposed to go to where, um, give me a minute. I can't play with you right now, I'm busy. Um, you're supposed to follow where bl the blind maiden came from, but if you go there, you're gonna have to get a shiny that tells you where you have to get this other carving, and no, it's not this one, I suggest. So let's, so you go this way. Again, what, boy, gotcha. Uh, save, um, this, this is just to save backtracking. Oh, th there's a stone mirror right there. Oh, that door still can't open right there, so don't worry about it. Hey, it's an old friend. Woo! Whoa! Run away! Long Gums is back. Yeah, sounds like you're saying get back, not give back. Jeez. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, a lot of these ghosts don't really have stories. Or they do, but um, they don't tell you. Get down. Oh, yay, we captured him. Oh, he has nothing else to say at the end. Nothing here? Nope. Nope, but there's a seal on the door to the fish tank room for some reason. And a lot of people get confused on where this is because they don't expect that that's actually in the same room as the seal. 37, yay! I need to start using. I'm so used to using 14 film because I'm used to having infinite. And in order to get infinite, you have to defeat Nightmare Mode, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Yeah, it's right here. So people are like looking through the map, like, okay, where are these stairs? That's right, where the same room as the seal is. Okay, oh, jeez. Uh, we're going to a save point anyway, we're fine. Because we're going to the backyard, if you can't tell already. Uh, this is just to say backtracking, because you have to go to the rumble room, rubble room, and with the rubble room door, the door in there is going to tell you, hey, you got to come to the backyard. Uh, these kids can be tricky to get, but if you have good timing, you're good. Okay, automatic door. Automatic door. There we go. I want automatic doors. I love them. Let's just get out of this fish tank room as much as we can. Hey! I forgot about something. I forgot about something. Uh, this door is also is locked again. And I would, and the paper for it is towards the rumble room. Rubble room. So that's probably why you should go to the rubble room first. But I know what the things are. I know what it is. So sorry about this. So zero two. Three, four, five, six. If you want to follow this, you can, but the paper to get this code is um, go towards the rubble room. So that's probably a reason why you should go to the rubble room first. But I know this game too well, so I'm kind of fast forwarding it. I totally forgot about that. My bad. I'm so used to playing this game on on my second playthroughs. So yeah, see that that well it looks ominous. This is my 14th film. I mean, thank you, camera. Alright. Hmm, this well looks ominous. Let's check it out. Like the nice person, like the good person we are. The smart person we are. There we go. Welcome, going well. Wherever she went to. Going well? Oh, there she is, I see you. Gotcha! Yeah, she is very fast. Oh, she's teleporting. Oh, no, she's right there. Gotcha! Oh, she's scary. I did not know how scary going well is until this thing. Yeah, when she. Oh, shoot, she's teleporting. Why is it so dark? You're a child. Whoa. Oh, got her. Um, when she goes that, <gasps> when she does that, <gasps> that means she's gonna, um, charge you. So watch for that. Oh, I love this part. I love her voice actor in this one. Yep, and we captured her. Poor girl. Well. I love it. Yeah, she got dragged into a well, hence her name. Poor girl. Ooh, and there's a whole bunch of long arms in there. Hmm, I wonder who did that. Okay. There's the carving that we need for, um... Oh, jeez. Yeah, you want to save 
Ooh, after you defeat um crawling girl, you should and uh, a crawling girl uh going well. You, I suggest you save right now, just in case. Trust me on this. You want to save? Yep, I knew it. Oh, every single time, broken neck. I don't even need your music for that. You're right there. The best part is Broken Egg doesn't teleport, so... Every time I come to this well, and then I go try to go back, Broken Egg always meets me right there. Don't even think about it. I don't care if it hurts. Yeah, see how annoying she is? Love your music, though. Boom, boom. Hey, thank you for attacking me right next to a save point so I can get more 30 film. That's what I like about Fatal Frame 1. You get free 30 film from a save point. Love that music. Thank you, Broken Neck. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna save again just in case. But yeah, that's why I told you to save because sometimes Broken Neck can meet you there. <laughs> uh, do 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 do. Oh my gosh, look how much I have. Uh, no, not range. There we go. I'd rather have max value and speed, because range, um, sometimes you have to get close to the ghost anyway to get the zero shot. Range, range for me is not my priority, but max value will help. But every single time I come to this little area right there, Broken Neck always meets me. It's only, it's only in my second time playthrough that she doesn't do that. On my first time playthrough, she does do that. Or better the backyard than the fish tank room. 16 minutes, awesome. By the time we get there, it will be 20 minutes and there's a save point in the bubble room. So, yay! Yeah, in Fatal Frame 1, you need to save often because this game is not nice to uh, new players. Because they don't, you don't know how the ghosts work. Uh, they, they give you very little film. They give you very little um, health items. Maybe because this is the first game. Yeah, keep running. Now stop. Ooh, don't do that. Just don't move. Unless that happens, and then move. Oh my gosh. You want me to move a little bit? There we go. Not gonna waste pressure this time. Stop it. Yeah, that noise is a blessing. That noise is a blessing. That teleporting noise, man. Also, the, um, if people are still wondering how I'm doing the um, 180s, 360s, whatever you call them, uh, you press triangle. Oh, you Remember what I told you about the blue screen because my, my VCR turns off? Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, the 360, 180 thing I'm doing is usually triangle for the PlayStation 2. I'm pretty sure it's whatever the top button is on the Xbox version. I'm not totally sure on that one because I haven't played the Xbox version in a long time and TV stopped freaking out. Now we gotta go towards where Blind Man came the first time we met her. Yeah, this is where you get the, um, the thing. See, Blind Demon Ritual on the 26th day of the 11th month in the preparations of the Strangly Ritual, 10 years later, chosen a, choose a maiden with holy power. She should be past the age of 7 years, 9 months, and 25 days. Yeah, 2611 was the uh, answer, but I didn't come over here to get that, so yeah. Sorry about that. Bogonek better not be coming back. Hello, save point. How are you doing today? Thank you for my free 14 film. I love you. Yeah, when you're running out of 14 film, I suggest going towards a, um, a save point as much as you can. Because they give you free 14 film. Don't, don't question a save point's motive.